welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful messages that you have left behind. This week is the number 16 week of the year 2017. And I want to say to each and every person, this is going to be a fantastic week because the energy vibration in this week is the energy of the world and the zodiac energy is also of the earth element. So, make your wishes, your dreams and wishes are going to come through. Wonderful experiences are coming for you, Capricorn. This is extremely, extremely good. Um, your focus is going to be the Ten of Sword. Energy of the Ten of Sword is going to be your focus. And why this energy of the Ten of Sword is that uh, um, for some people, a lot of achievements, a lot of goals, um, a lot of um, situation that you're meeting up with good partnership, uh, good people who you can partnership up in. There's a lot of hate coming towards you. There's a lot of hate coming towards you, Capricorn, in this week, but it's okay. It is something that you can overcome and you will overcome it, but you're going to stand up for the injustice of whatever had happened to you or someone else, and you are going to face it and stand up no matter how many swords are coming at you in this week you are going to stand up and protect yourself from these negative energies and forces coming from you okay so you're going to learn to protect yourself in this week as you see how this card is the pick with a ten of swords okay be aware of whatever is happening around you but even after that you have the energy of the star Okay, so whatever is happening, um, after all the ten swords, uh, it's going to fall out and fall away, or fall out and fall away, and uh, you are going to become the star, okay? So there's a lot of eight, and I can always tell you whenever um, you are um, trying to manifest or trying to do certain things in your life, uh, you will have a lot of eight and a lot of people coming towards you with eight, but it's okay. As we look at your week, uh, the energy of, uh, yeah, it's, it really, it, it's not only your reading, but it's other signs reading that the energy vibration of numbers not coming out this week. They're just not coming out. And, um, your reading is a lot of um, success, a lot of success, a lot of success, whatever is happening. It's the two tens you have gotten in your reading because you also have the ten of wands. So on Monday, you're going to feel the energy of the ten of wands. It's going to be an energy where you feel as if the burden of a lot of stuff is here on Monday, but it's going to be okay. The burden of a lot of stuff is going to be here, but it's going to be okay. As we look at Tuesday, we have the energy vibration of um, connection, a connection with love in business or love in a relationship or partnership. Okay, this week is a mixed week of everything. As we move on, we have the energy vibration of the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a focus in the middle of the week with the Ten of Pentacles. Love the energy of the Ten of Pentacles because what this is saying is that a lump sum of money will be coming to you. And this can from an air finish or um, insurance, but a big payout. And this can also be from taxes. Maybe there will back taxes that you were supposed to get. Maybe there will back money where you're supposed to get. But a huge lump sum of money is coming out on Wednesday. On Thursday, you are going to have a celebration. You're going to be celebrating over something. And whatever you're celebrating over, it's going to be a wonderful energy of success that is happening. And you're going to make a huge celebration over it. And this is going to be good because what is happening here is that you're going to realize how important this is for you. As we move on and we look at Friday... You have the Ace of Pentacles and the energy of the Ace of Pentacles on Friday is going to be one of those fantastic energy because on Wednesday you had the Ten of Pentacles, on Friday you had the Ace of Pentacles which is just so fantastic. So whatever 
situation, your health is going to be uh, fantastic. Whatever that has been happening, a whole lot of people you're going to connect with the financial aspect. And this is as if the universe is going to bring things in your life and it's going to blend you to a place where um, the life begins to move. On Saturday, be aware of the situation because the Seven of Swords is here and the Seven of Swords is people who are jealous trying to steal in something from you. So be aware of this because people are not really nice. So um, realize that and understand that because uh, the Seven of, uh, of Swords is as if somebody did something for some people, some some people it's going to be somebody stealing from you. From some people, it's going to be jealous, um, you know, jealous against you and people who are coming in your life and that sort of a thing. So you need to understand where you are at this moment. Okay. On Sunday, you have the energy vibration of judgment in um, reverse. So um, whatever you were, you were justifying put on crucifixion of the cross and that sort of a thing because this was the energy that makes this in reverse this is the energy that makes this in reverse so whatsoever that was happening that was bringing such a crucifixion to you it is going to end it is going to end because the judgment is now in reverse so this is going to end and this is very good because whenever this sort of a situation ends and you, you know, you can move away from this sort of a situation and understand that um, whatever people were trying to do against you and that sort of a thing, you know, you can understand and just walk away from it. So life is, you know, it's a wonderful time and this sort of a situation is good and this is the aspect where you're going to be completely connected with whatsoever that is going on around you and this is going to be a fantastic week for you Capricorns because the energy of love is in this week but yet still there's some people you're going to meet and have new partners for the people who are single and is out there looking for some people but for some people there's going to be a lot of hate coming towards you and your partner a lot of jealousy a lot of um, hateful feelings from other people because the swords are the thoughts of negative thoughts from other people coming towards you so be aware of what is going to happen because some people will enjoy the time some people are going to connect for the single people love is going to be very very strong in this week it's going to be a time where you can connect with new people in your life and you're going to realize how powerful that is going to be because by connecting with these love um, partnerships in your life you're going to feel so alive for some people be aware that hate people can just dislike you because you have a relationship and you are comfortable in your own skin and in your relationship so be aware um, this situation it has to do with someone out there who has lost um, who, it, it wasn't lost it was actually stolen and it's as if the universe come in to bring back your fortune. It's as if your fortune was blocked. For some people, it was blocked. For some people, it was stolen. For some people, injustices has happened. And then now the universe is coming back to help you. And the universe is going to release the funds to you in this week. So be aware of what is going to happen in this week, okay? Because the energy of judgment is in reverse and the energy of the star is upward. So um, not, some people are going to have a, a mixed feelings of these things happening. Mixed because whenever the energy of judgment is reversed and the star comes up, that means uh, whatsoever hardship you are going through, whatsoever um, uh, hurtful things that people did to you and was um, blocking you and lied and all that sort of a thing, um, the cleansing is here and it is now the judgment is now being reversed but because when people um, lie and um, do things that is hurtful towards another person and the judgment and that sort of a thing is here you you will see the energy that what, what happened is that it doesn't really matter what happened and what they did to you 
you're still going to become the star the star energy is always your wishes and dreams are coming true but what I'm feeling is that there were some people that was unjustly accused about something and that something has hurt you and your life in such a way um, that um, the cleansing had to come in you know because God do not like ugly the universal angels don't like ugly source creator don't like ugly and whenever um, you are uh, of peace and of an open heart and uh, you realize how um, uh, certain situation happens uh, in your life and you're not capable of you know um, changing the whole energy vibration you realize that the universe will step in and I'm so happy when the universe step into this because whatever that has happened to some people out there it it is it, it's, it's it was not it was dishonest it was dishonest um the energy of dishonesty place for a lot of you capricorns out there and a lot of capricorns has been going through a lot of um hard time um with the energy vibration and you have met so much people who are um or not vibrating um, in a hood energy vibration and these people most of the time it's just just um, um, jealousy hatefulness um, people who do not want to see other people elevate to a higher level or um, uh, help to, to to move you you know so that you don't move forward in your life and the, these happen a lot of times and most of it is um, karmatic it's just to, to learn there is sometimes a lesson and I I know some people are going to say is that really a lesson that is a hard lesson for me to learn but you know something um, life is full of surprises and we all need to understand how we need to focus on certain things and remove certain things out of our lives and when you move certain people things and places out of your life you will see a difference your last and final card that I have for you it is Archangel Raphael I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life and this is good this is the last card I have for you guys Archangel Raphael so um, you know invite Archangel Raphael and um, ask him to bring healing and knowledge into your life so that you can um, vibrate with the right energy vibration going forward and this is going to be good and don't 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 worry about um, people and this sort of a thing because, you know people are like this you know they're never happy and they're never happy for someone else I mean if you really if you were really happy for someone else that means you're a good person and your heart is at a good place not a lot of people people are jealous they're always you know wishing for themselves but never wish something good for other people and if you never wish something good for other people you'll never get back the blessings because you wish only whatever you wish for other people that is what you're going to receive on yourself and this is where people do not understand and say yeah but I always wish for this and I always wish for that but yes you never wish for the right thing and that's why you never get the right thing anyway I'm gonna say namaste until next week